I always try to tell them that, look, it's not that speaker that we're inviting who has these extreme radical views, as you say. These are general views that every Muslim actually has. Every Muslim believes in these things. Just because they're not telling you about it, or just because they're not out there in the media, doesn't mean they don't believe in them. So I will ask you, everyone in the room, how many of you are normal Muslims? You're not extremists, you're not radical, this is normal Sunni Muslims. Please raise your hands. Everybody, mashaAllah, subhanAllah. Okay, take down your hands again. How many of you agree that men and women should sit separate? Please raise your hands. Everyone agree. Everyone agree. Brothers and sisters. Subhanallah. So, so it's not just these radical sheikhs then. Allahu Akbar. Next question. How many of you agree that the punishments described in the Quran and the Sunnah, whether it is death, whether it is stoning for adultery, whatever it is, if it is from Allah and His Messenger, that is the best punishment ever possible for humankind. And that is what we should apply in the world. Who, who agrees with that? All of you are saying that you are common Muslims, you all go to the different masajids, no way. Or is it, are you like a specific sect, like the Islam net sect or anything like that? Are you like that? No. Is it, are you like that? Please raise, your, please raise your hand if you like this extreme Islam net sect or anything like that. No one. Allahu Akbar. How many of you just go to these normal mas masajids in Norway, every, the normal Sunni mosques? Please raise your hands. Allahu Akbar. So what's, what's the politicians going to say now? What's the media going to say now? That we're all extremists? We're all radicals? We need to deport all of us from this country? Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Takbir! 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 De koffers zitten ons in de weg. Wie zijn het precies? Dat zijn de ongelovigen, de mensen die niet in, uh, bijvoorbeeld niet in de islam geloven. Wat, wat doen die mensen verkeerd? Die mag ik niet. Ik weet niet wat ze verkeerd doen. Nee. Wat, ze, wat ze eigenlijk verkeerd doen, heel makkelijk gezegd, is aanbidden Allah niet. En, en wat vinden je van een Nederlandse vrouw die zich gemiddeld kleden? Ja, de, uh... ja, helemaal niks. Ja, helemaal niks. Ja, Het hoort ook niet volgens ons geloof. Ik vind helemaal niks. Zo, nee? Soms, nee, nee. Okay. Vind je het zelf niet stiekem wel een beetje leuk om te zien? Wachelijk, Hoe moet het... Ik mishandelen, ja. Soms zie ik, zie ik inderdaad... Als het komt, er moet gewoon een dole tul khilafa zijn. Een islamitische staat waar een moslim gewoon goed kan leven volgens de islamitische regels. Verder hebben wij niks nodig. Dat is het enige wat wij nodig hebben. Dus dan, dan zou ik me moeten bekeren tot de islam? In een... In een... Als ik... Zeg maar laatste wat ik wil zeggen. Ja, laatste. Uh, bekeer uh, tot de islam allemaal. Allemaal uh, meisjes uh, gedragen jullie door normaal kleren aan. Ja. En uh, ik heb nog, uh, wat vragen. nummer? Nummer 06 112.
This is one of 38 secondary schools set up by different Islamic organizations to train the next generation of imams and community leaders. Darul Uloom Islamic High School in Birmingham is a full-time independent secondary school inspected by government-approved teams. In 2009, government-approved inspectors praised the school for its interfaith teaching, saying, Pupils learn about the beliefs and practices of other faiths and are taught to show respect to other world religions. are arranged into rows for a school assembly. The speaker addresses all the pupils aged 11 and upwards. He starts by talking about people who worship ridiculous things. This is how he describes Hindu religious practices. He says it's not the first time he's given this speech. This is how British children are being taught to read the Quran. In a Muslim faith school in the north of England. Here's what 11-year-old Muslim children are being taught about non-Muslims in a full-time secondary school. All of them have their haircuts checked by the teachers. Children with non-Muslim haircuts are sent to stand against the wall. The senior teacher says looking like non-Muslims is forbidden. He uses the word kafar, an often derogatory term meaning disbeliever or infidel. What did you think about the repeated use of kafar? Never would a kafir enter Jannah until a camel enters the eye of a needle. It's like the N-word. It's a term of abuse, a term of censure, condemnation. Which suggests that the reports we've heard of regular violence might be true. A teacher patrols the room. And then he kicks a boy. Then he walks down the line. The school's last inspection praised it for promoting tolerance and harmony in society. But in this assembly, the teacher tells the boys they should hate the sinful nature of non-Muslim society. Not there, and all that evil you see on the streets. You know, uh, people not wearing hijab properly, people smoking, people walking like uh, they got something stuck in their pants. Yeah, these kind of uh, things. Yeah, yeah, you should hate it. it Some of the teachings that we've shown you, do you think they could be described as hate teachings? There's no shadow of doubt. When you teach children that they should be intolerant of other faiths, have no respect for them, 
you are breeding hostility and antipathy and animosity to others. If that's not hate, what is hate? <laughs> With the number of faith schools set to grow, these lessons in hate and violence continuing behind closed doors will only serve to deepen the religious and social divide. Authorities in the Austrian city of Wels have slapped a curfew on young migrants in response to a series of sex attacks at a wine and beer festival. It came after underage asylum seekers from Afghanistan assaulted 17 women at the Welser Volksfest festival. 193 uh, complaints and you see uh, it's already increasing all the time. It's just the latest incident of sexual assault involving refugees. Women were assaulted on New Year's Eve in the German city of Cologne and similar cases have also been reported in Finland, Sweden and Denmark. Unbelievable. What's happening in Europe is tragic and it's all detailed in Asa La Vista Europe. Why aren't more people talking about this? Where's the outrage? Who will save Europe? 